Hey, thank you for having me over. Yeah, I would love to treat you tonight with a pumpkin spa self care night. Mm -hmm. I have a lot of pumpkin fall themed uh, products <laughs> and I think we're gonna have a lot of fun as well as some relaxation mm -hmm. You can see I have an array of products here. So, I really wanted to check in on you, see how you're doing. Yeah, I think sometimes we let life kind of run us uh, and we forget to take a moment to be still and care for ourselves and enjoy it in the moment. Yeah. So, I have a lot of fun things we can go through and it's going to vary from sort of body care to also course, skin care. Mm -hmm. So, I hope that this really relaxes you and gets you uh, ready for a truly calming night of rest. So, I would love to start with making sure that you have a nice cup of tea. Mm -hmm. So, I think you're gonna like what I have. So, I have this super adorable mug. Isn't it so cute? <laughs> it's a little black kitten in a pumpkin jackal. the cutest mug there ever was, right? <laughs> so, we are keeping it festive. All right, so then I brought a tea for you. It's called Soothing Caramel Bedtime. Supports a good night's sleep. Sure, it will be extremely comforting, and you can sip on your tea while we do your self care. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is from Yogi's Tea. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and put this in the cup. Smells really good. So, here's your tea bag. Okay. And so, I have a little pot of water. For a 
few minutes. Have a little handy dandy wooden spoon just to make sure it gets in there, you know. Mm -hmm. Alright. Maybe after all of this, we can bake some cookies. You can pick. <laughs> okay. All right. So, I'll let you have this, and it should only be a few more minutes before it's ready to drink. Let me go ahead and make sure the hair around your face is pushed back. I have a black headband, so if you don't mind, I'll just go ahead and put this on you. Okay. Okay. Perfect. How does that feel? Good. I hope it feels comfortable. I like the other color I have in that headband. It's a pink one and I don't find that it hurts at all. So I just want to make sure you feel comfortable. Yeah. Okay. So I think what I would like to do is start with your hands. Yeah. So have a hand and foot mask that I can give you, but before we do that, I wanted to cleanse your hands and arms and use a couple of products I have, and then we'll move on to your face. products here that I found that I thought might be really fun to use. And you can keep these as well if you like to try out. So this is the Tree Hut Limited Edition Pumpkin Spice Latte Foaming Gel Wash. says, get an autumn glow with your favorite fall scent, packed with pumpkin enzymes to refine skin and nutmeg oil to give you even skin tone. Your skin will feel clean, moisturized, and refreshed. Pour onto bath poof, suds up, sing, and rinse. For that extra glow, use with Tree Hut Shea Sugar Scrub. And, believe it or not, I also have the scrub. <laughs> so this is also the Pumpkin Spice Latte Shea Sugar Scrub with a shea butter. So, yeah, this will definitely be a great, like, exfoliant. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this first. And then we can follow up with the wash. Okay. Alright. So. Yeah, you want to see how it smells? Mmm, it smells so sugary and this in a little bowl. I have my 
wooden bowl here. It's pretty tiny. And it has a little spoon. I'm just gonna take a little bit on the spoon. I don't think we're gonna need too much. you took off your jewelry and all that. Okay. Let's go ahead and just populate some. So it's like that. Okay. How does that feel? Yeah. your hands now. <laughs> All right. Yeah, this arm too. Okay, great. Yeah, I brought a towel just for you. Okay, let's cleanse with the gel wash. muffin after all of this. <laughs> so I'm just going to do a tiny bit on my hand there. I'm going to put this back. Mm, just all smells so good. Okay, and I'm just going to pour a little bit of water in my hand just to get it Nice and sudsy. Ooh, look at that. Suds. Okay, so. Yeah. Alright. go. 
All right, how are your hands feeling? That's good. Nice and soft and smelling of pumpkin <laughs> and of course some other scents like vanilla. So now that your hands are all washed and good, I wanted to give you a hand mask and a foot mask as well. So we have the hand mask. It's an easy to use hand mask designed for severely dry skin. Infused with vitamins and nut butters, our single-use gloves are transformative, providing a luxurious spa-like experience. So you place gloves on the hands and secure the tab around the wrist, leaving on for 15 minutes. So I figured you could have these masks on while I do your face. Does that feel good? I'll just tighten it here. There you go. Okay, right. Perfect. Okay, let's do the other one. There we go. Okay. How do those feel? Good? Perfect? Okay, let me get the foot masks now. Okay. Now, this is the foot mask, and you also leave it on for 15 minutes. Each, and then we will 
make sure to do your skin care in the meantime. Yeah, I have a couple of fun stuff planned. Okay. Okay. How's your tea so far? Is it good? I'm glad to hear. Perfect. Alright, well, while we're waiting for your foot and hand masks to uh, help you soak up all that moisture and nutrients to make your skin ultra soft. I have a couple of masks for your face. Mm -hmm. So you cleansed your face already. Great. Perfect. I have a couple of masks that I think you're going to really enjoy. So first we have the Plumpkin Retinal Eye Patches by Tony Moly. Yeah, this brand has a lot of cute, like, themed skincare. It is so cute. Little pumpkin. <laughs> so, it says, with the spatula, gently lift and separate each eye patch. Apply patch onto clean, dry under eye area and repeat on the other side. Leave on for 15 minutes and then remove. Okay. So let's go ahead and apply the eye patches. Okay. I don't think these have any like crazy scents, um, so should be relatively, you know, unscented, but we can test it. Oh, <laughs> one is sticking. Yeah, it kind of just smells like skincare, so I don't think we have anything to worry about <laughs> with strong scents, but here's the spatula, and you're supposed to lift it like that. Very nifty. Lift one, and my hands are clean, so I don't need to worry. Oh, it is a slippery one. <laughs> okay. Alright. I'm just gonna use my hand to apply it for you. Are you ready? Okay. Let's do this eye first. How does that feel? Cooling. Oh, love to hear that. Okay. So, gonna grab another one. Try to lift it. There we go. <laughs> and go ahead and apply it on this side. To do it like this. So, okay. There we go. Okay. line that are like different uh, products or vegetables or <laughs> other things, fruits. And this is for anti-aging. So it's a mask sheet and it's also by Tony Moly. I found this brand to be super festive and actually had pumpkin stuff. <laughs> versus other brands. It says it's infused with antioxidant and vitamin-rich pumpkin extract that will work to plump up fine lines and reduce inflammation. So it says to 
tear open and apply to face and leave on for 20 to 30 minutes. So I think we should be able to put this on top of your eye masks currently. Um, I don't think it'll be an issue. Kind of kill two birds with one stone. Okay. So you actually open it from the bottom. So let's go ahead and open it. Okay. And, oop. Mask. It is very soaked in the serum, so I have to be very careful and unwrap it for you. Oh, I think I might have. Oh, no, it's a full one. Sometimes these come in like halves. It's actually very thin, which I like. It's not too like bulky. feels really soft as well. I'm like, where is the top of this? Okay. <laughs> okay. So, are you ready? Yeah. Just make sure there's, your face is all ready to go. <laughs> okay. Here you go. Okay. There we go. Just make sure it's padded around your face. How does that feel? Good. Glad to hear that. Okay, well, we'll just let that sit for a few minutes along with the eye masks, okay? Yeah. So, feel free to continue sipping on your tea and relaxing, okay? Yeah, and I'm sure your hand and foot masks will be done very soon. So you're welcome to remove those first and clean any excess product off or massage it in and then um, we'll just wait for the face mask to wrap up before we continue our skincare, okay? Alright, so it looks like all of your masks are done and you've removed them, so this is good. We now have some fresh skin to apply some products okay yeah so i think what i'll do is apply this eye cream isn't it so fun it's a pumpkin probably one of the cutest skin products I've ever had the pleasure of getting. <laughs> I just feel like it makes me exponentially more happy. <laughs> so hopefully the product itself will be good. I kept the box for us to look at the uh, effects of it. This product is also by Tony Moly, and it's called Plumpkin Retinol Eye Cream. So let me see if I can read on this see-through box. Uh, it says, rewind time with our gentle yet potent formula to plump up a delicate under eye skin. Infused with pumpkin extract, retinol, vitamin E, and beta carotene, this lightweight eye cream will begin to depuff, hydrate, and brighten while softening texture and fine lines around the eyes. Ooh, love that. So, I'm going to go ahead and gently apply this to your under eyes. So, I'm going to open up the pumpkin. <laughs> And there's a little protector, so I'm going to just carefully open that. Okay, so that's what it looks like. Again, just kind of smells like skin product, nothing like too, sen you know, sense. Like it doesn't smell overpowering of anything, which is, I think, important. 
So I'm just gonna take a small dab on my finger and I'm gonna just lightly apply it and pat it under your eye there. I'm sure this pairs well with the little eye mask we just did. Okay. There we go. Yeah. And a little bit under the eyebrow there. You can't miss that spot. Perfect. Okay, so let me get another little tiny... Little goes a very long way, so... Um, let me go ahead and do the other eye. Just gently go. And under the eyebrow. Here we go. Tap, 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 tap. Alright. Okay, how does that feel? Wonderful. I'm so glad. And with that, we will place our pumpkin back. It kind of reminds me of the pumpkin um, carriage like from Cinderella, where they made her carriage out of a pumpkin. I don't know why that, that reminded me of that. It's, isn't that funny? Maybe Cinderella was based in October. <laughs> With pumpkin season. Yeah. So, I love this eye cream already. 10 out of 10 on the packaging. But, hopefully, the eye cream itself is also a 10 out of 10. <laughs> Time will tell. Okay. All right. Next, I think we should do a face oil. Now, we did already have the pumpkin or plumpkin uh, serum from the face mask. And I think that all we really need is just something that's moisturizing and calming to complement it. My go-to is always going to be rosehip oil. It's very nourishing for all skin types and plays nice with a lot of other skin products. Um, so, we'll go ahead and apply this to your face. I just get this from the grocery store. It's by Sky Organics, but I think most brands make them pretty well. Okay, so I'm just gonna apply that to my hand. Okay, so let me just apply that to your face. sure that we get the forehead, the eyebrows, the temples of your head, and your cheeks, nose, there, <laughs> nose, okay, and then under the nose and the jaw, yeah, how does that now that we've applied our rosehip oil. Okay. All right. And next for your face and the final product is just a simple moisturizer. I use the Double Repair Face Moisturizer usually at night myself and I'm also running out so we'll have to get a new bottle. But this is going to be perfect for you. Very nourishing and calming. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my hand. face as well. Just around the nose, cheeks, jaw, okay, around under the nose, and the forehead. Okay. There we go. There we go. Okay. So, I'll go ahead and put 
this away. And I can't forget that I do want to apply this lip mask. It's by e.l.f. Skin and it's by their Holy Hydration line. Yeah, it's super hydrating and oh, yeah, it's super hydrating and I love it. So I'm just gonna like kick in a little bit and apply it for you. You're going to feel so moisturized. How do you like it? That's good. Perfect. All right. So we're not done yet. I have a couple more things. Mm -hmm. I have some lotions for yeah, your body and hands. These lotions. So this is Hemp's and it's their limited edition pumpkin spice and vanilla chai herbal hand cream and it is 100% pure natural hemp seed oil and shea butter. So it's THC free, paraben free, gluten free, vegan, cruelty free. So let's smell it. Mm. So it smells really good. So let's put a little bit of the hand lotion on. That is going to last you. Let me see your hand. Okay. Your hands feel so soft from the mask. Okay, this one. Yeah, I mean, they feel baby soft. And that is exactly what we were looking for, right? something about feeling extra soft and moisturized. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's definitely a rich hand cream, so make sure it's extra rubbed in when you need it to use your hands for anything else. Okay. Okay. But it smells And the last product is the Hemp's Pumpkin Spice and Vanilla Chai Herbal Body Moisturizer. So this can go on like your arms and your legs, wherever you're gonna need it. And of course this is scented so you're gonna be smelling like a pumpkin vanilla candle. <laughs> But it sounds like you really enjoy this, so it shouldn't be too bad. Okay. Yeah, I just got the baby bottle. So, I'll do a little bit just to put on your upper arms for now, and then you can put some on your legs later if you want. Yeah. Whatever you're comfortable. arm here. Okay, and this one. Okay. How does that feel? Good. I'm glad. Yeah, you smell amazing. Well, that's all of our products. Would you like me to pull a couple cards for you? Why not? <laughs> okay. Let me grab my cards. Okay. So we have the 
the Fountain Tarot deck, which I love. Tarot is one of the uh, many forms of self-reflection tools and I think it's really fun to pull them and kind of see if they resonate, you know? So, the other deck I have is Moonology Oracle Cards. I thought it was very fitting for the season. Okay, so let me pull a few cards. Is there any particular amount? Okay, so maybe just two cards. One about how you're doing now and maybe one that can kind of impact your near future. Okay. Just shuffle them lightly. Oh, this one wanted to come out. <laughs> okay, so this is Eight of Wands, right? I feel like it's this one. Oh, this is Ace of Swords. Okay, then I'll pull. The moon cards. There was a full moon the other night and it was just so beautiful. I wish I could have stayed out and watched it, but it was on a weeknight and work was the next. and it's the full moon in Libra. Wow. I believe we're in Libra season, so that's kind of cool. What are the odds? So, we have these two cards, Eight of Wands and Ace of Swords. So, I'll read that first. I like to just read the booklet that it comes with. Um, there's also online. Um, you could literally google Eight of Wands card meaning and find a couple websites with kind of similar descriptions but sort of their own takes of that, if you will, on that. And I find those to be kind of fun to read too. So. Okay, let's start with Eight of Wands. Okay, so Eight of Wands is a rapid force when the Eight of Wands enters your reading, expect velocity, swift developments, and rapid conclusions. The long journey is almost over, and it is inevitable that you will reach your destination. But stay alert. They say that the closer you are to home, the more prone you are to accidents. With some nimble handling of the controls, you will steer this train competently, quickly, and efficiently into the station and it is kind of like a little road. <laughs> so the meaning is rapid movement or pace, an impending conclusion to events set in motion, nimble handling of a situation, singular purpose, mobility after stagnation, explosion of potential. So that is really interesting. I'd like to read the next one just to kind of see how they play into each other. So your other card is Ace of Swords, and it means powerful clarity. As the root of the swords, the ace brings a great deal of raw power and energy. A sword cuts through a web of scaffolding, holding up all the cloudy pieces of our identity. Perceptions, conversations, facts, dreams, and ideas. When the Ace of Swords appears in a reading, it means that a rare opportunity for clarity is near. 
it will cut through these subjective realities revealing a truth, an insight, or a new approach for which you've been waiting. Pay close attention to your words and thoughts. Knowledge does give you power, but without a little reflection, it can quickly turn into delusion. The meanings are mental clarity, a great force at work, a fresh approach, strength, long-term success, determination, and ambition. So, with these cards, on the one hand, you have rapid motion, rapid conclusion, and wrapping things up sort of like in the almost in like a very positive way. I don't kind of get the feeling that it means you're completing a journey and it's a rough ending. It's like a good stop, if that makes sense. Like you're on a train station and your next stop is like a good stop. And so that's what I feel like this card is representing. And it also talks about like the potential of kind of like what's next as you're sort of leaving the things behind you. And I think that the Ace of Swords represents that sense of mental clarity and fresh approach, intention in going to that next stop that you are arriving at or even what you're leaving behind. And I completely understand mental fog and feeling lost I think sometimes clarity kind of starts when you realize that you don't know what's going on and you feel very confused. Um, and that can be very difficult to navigate and, and wade through. But I believe that these represent an opportunity to face the next thing even if that means the next day, with a fresh approach, with mental clarity. I was listening to, I think I was listening to a podcast or something where they talked about how it can feel so difficult to reinvent ourselves. It can feel difficult to feel like we can be the person we want to be or have the habits we want to have, right? It can start with really small things. You know, maybe you have something in your closet. You bought a really beautiful piece of clothing and you're kind of nervous to wear it because you're not sure if you can like confidently pull it off the way you want to. Um, I'm sure that's a very basic example. It's kind of like it's hard to show up for yourself if you feel like you're doing something for the first time or you're navigating territory you've never gone through before. Um, even personality things. Sometimes we just wish we could be Jeez. things about ourselves that we feel awkward trying to adopt. <laughs> but one of the best pieces of advice I've heard is that sometimes all it takes is just doing the thing, wearing that piece of clothing, if you will, uh, starting that habit, no matter how you start it in a way, um, is really all it takes to then become the person you want to be, to then live the life you want to live. Um, in some ways, that gives you autonomy and self-control again control over your life that sometimes you often feel you don't have control over. And don't get me wrong, there's so much we don't have control over and I completely understand that. But I think and hope that you can see you do have some control and it can start at any time. You have the potential to make your next stop something fresh, new, and positive for your life and maybe your, you know, whatever that might affect in your life, whether that's your health or your relationships or your career or just your day-to-day. -day. Sometimes it's just hard to kind of bear the day-to-day. -day. So I 
hope that this encourages you to face what's next, face what's coming with that fresh approach and mental clarity that I know you have. Next we have the Moonology card, a win-win outcome is forecast full moon in Libra. I have the card and the description in the book open, so let's read it. The full moon in Libra, the sign of partnership, of falling in love, and of closely relating to someone else. Since full moons are about climaxes and conclusions, this card suggests you're either about to start a new relationship or that an important existing relationship is changing somehow perhaps coming to an end or moving to a new level of commitment. It's important to remember that people come to us for a reason, and, and sometimes just for a season. If a relationship is ending now, it's doing so at the right time, so try not to fight it. This card can also refer to a professional relationship. There is a sense that you need to balance your ego with someone else's needs. A win-win outcome is possible with give and take. Doing so might be the answer to your question. So, additional meanings are see the other person through the eyes of love. It will change your perspective. It's time for you to make a firm decision. Time for you to focus on yourself for a while. Look after yourself, but avoid vanity. Now is a great time. The teaching is no matter when you pull the full moon and Libra card, it encourages you to find a balance between your desires and those of the people around you. Balance is a very Libra energy and the full moon brings things to a peak. Dramas and upsets bring partnerships to the fore. Libra energy also brings love energy. Negotiations are easier. I think that really is pretty specific to the meaning of the card. Ideally, if you're dealing with any type of relationship in your life that is kind of needing a bit of balance, you're able to kind of take this card into consideration and reflect on that and see if there is a way you need to be reviewing or seeing people with through the lens of love which can be kind of, I wouldn't say difficult, but um, I often, I'm a Libra rising, so I very I'm very attuned to this. Um, so outwardly, I am very Libra. I'm very much about fairness and justice. So for me in relationships, it matters a lot that the other person pulls their weight whether that's in any type of relationship. Um, but it's not to say that I've never been unequal in a relationship, right? Um, but I think that's something I value, uh, one of the things. And a lot of it surrounds of, uh, like acts of service, for example. I think love languages play a huge part in how we relate to people as well. So for me, I really value words of affirmation and acts of service. So for example, when I was on like a group project back in the day at, in school and there was someone on the team that wasn't pulling their weight, I would feel very upset inside because I felt like they were not pulling their weight to help us as a team, you know, as a balanced team get the project done. So I think everyone values that, right? Everyone wants someone else to pull their weight um, or reciprocate in a way that efficiently helps the dynamic. But I think I try to remember that people are human and if they don't end up, you know, reciprocating or doing something that I perceive as, you know, critical, um, something may be going on that they're going through, right? Now, often there are some things that, you know, they legitimately don't care, or they're not considerate, so obviously you should be aware of that. But I think at the same time, most often people just want to be loved and cared for just as much as we do, and I don't think it makes us selfish 
in everything we do. I think instead it just means that we're trying our best to please other people in the ways that we we can, but also to protect ourselves from being hurt. Because as much as we want to be loved, we don't want to be rejected. We don't want to be hurt. So I think it's a balance, as Libra would put it, of looking at people through the lens of love and grace, but there is like an asterisk to that, that you don't need to be like a pushover, you don't need to let people walk all over you, you can set boundaries, that kind of thing. Um, but I think it kind of, if you're operating from love, you can find those boundaries to protect yourself too. Stay away from the people that might want to harm you, but hopefully um, whatever relationships you're experiencing, you're able to find the balance, find the win-win uh, outcome for both of you. And if, you know, it's something or someone you need to let go of to protect your own peace, then that is something that you may need to consider as well. Because not everyone gets along. <laughs> but I hope that these cards have helped you uh, in your self-reflection. Alright, how are we feeling? Relaxed, I hope. Well, it was an incredible pleasure to care for you tonight and help you feel so relaxed and moisturized. I had so much fun going through all our pumpkin products and can't wait to continue to use them uh, for the season ahead. Yeah. I hope that you have a restful night and rest of your and I hope that you feel cared for because I definitely care for you and hope that you're doing well. Yeah. Well, I look forward to our next self-care night, okay? And I will bid you good night, pack up all my things, and I'll see you very soon again. Have a wonderful